Hello everyone, welcome to another Valley, Vitaly and Edward's Lego Ideas. I'm Vitaly. And I'm Edward. And what we have for you today is our newest Lego creation we've made. If you want to see a little bit of how it's made, go check out our other channel, Valley Vlogs. In our in that video, um, sorry if there's no poll, I'm just trying to figure that out right now, um, but for me there's a poll. Edward, could you do the explaining? Sure. Mm -hmm. So, basically what we have for you guys today is... An airplane um if you have watched our other channel valley vlogs you might have guessed it was an airplane it's also one of the biggest builds we've created it is the newest we finished it yesterday and started it the day before yesterday so it only took us about two days to make this is actually the fourth airplane I built and one of the airplanes I had to break because we needed a lot more pieces for this one which I'm actually not regretting the fact that we broke it. I didn't even like that airplane that much. It was not my best effort. It was probably because I had just finished building another really big Lego that we will be showing you in a future episode. And I was just all tired out. Without further ado, let's get to it. Hey, so, this build is so big we had to use a blanket to cover it and not a box. And you could sort of see... The shape of our build. I hope nothing breaks when I'm taking off the blanket, but let's go. I think it's just that this the part that goes up and down <laughs> kind of went up and down. Yeah, little. we'll show you where that is. As you guys see, we have built an airplane. So, um, I actually came up with this idea after filming the, uh, LFBC we were doing. If you haven't watched that one, you guys could go ahead and watch it. It's the future Lego challenge. And I was thinking up of this build, and we're like, you know what, let's just get it started. Uh, we might as well. It might not look like the best. It's, <laughs> like, one of the first airplanes we've made, especially all together. I've made a couple... But one of them I had to break to build this. You gotta break some to make some. I'll just explain a bit. We, the How I first thought up of the idea was I found these four propeller pieces. And I'm like, you know what? That'd be pretty cool if we made like a propeller plane or something like that. And actually, this cone piece, the front, <laughs> is from the airplane that I had to break. I was pretty proud of it, so I decided to keep it. We actually did make it so the top is detachable. I don't think I'm going to show you it right now. So you can see that there's wheels on the wings that I actually thought up of. If you look on the side of the airplane, there are actually some like black and white pieces along here. You don't even know how it looked like before I put all those side pieces on. It was like all bumps and colors and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I just decided... You know what, I'm going to start putting sidings on. So, the reason we started building big stuff, uh, this one including, is because of a drone we built, which we are going to be showing you in a future video. No, it does not fly. So, you probably can't see, but in here, um, there is a Lego LED light. You can see the wire leading into the airplane. We just added that because, yeah, there's a battery box in there. We just thought, hey, uh, just make it light up and have lights in there. It was actually my idea. But. So, I was explaining to you how the part that we made that could open, it was opening because of the uh, blanket. Well, it's this. Right here. There's a battery box in here. The, the opening part was on purpose, but the battery box was kind of just like a during the build thing. I wanted to put the battery box somewhere, so that was the only other available spot that had no space whatsoever. So basically, like, the whole inside of the airplane is hollow. Edward told you uh, there's the detachable point. When we were building, the plane wasn't so stable, so, like, the wheels would collapse, the wing part would just fall off, and the whole body would just fall to the ground. That explains how not well connected it is, but the more we... The farther more we got into the build, the better we connected it. And in the captain's quarters, the roof comes off. And 
I mean, I just want to make her the captain lay so she can barely see. She's just probably looking at the ceiling. So on the inside, to the left and the to the left and the right of her, there's two speedometers. Or one could be the speed, and the other one could be like the altitude and the fuel. And in the middle, there is a radar and the controls. And then like two thingamajiggers she uses to pilot the actual thing. There's a wheel in the back. It's the spinny one. All right, and then right now we'll be showing you a demonstration of the lights in complete darkness. So you just turn on the light by clicking this green button. Our camera's flashlight is on right now, so we're going to turn it off and you'll just be able to see the lights. So this is the airplane with the lights. Edward's going to turn on the lights. Oh, uh, there we go. To turn it off, you would just open the back up and just turn the battery box off. And the lights are off. That's not all we have to show you. So, for the airplane to make it stand in one place, we made a stand for it. To make it look like it's flying up. So, the stands are the last thing we actually made for this. You, pro It probably makes a lot of sense. We had to go through many tries because a lot of the times the technic would bend. Like the axles, the beams, whatever, they would start bending in and we couldn't have that. So we had to go through so many ideas. But we finally got the perfect idea. Two of the stands hold up the wheel support and the wings. And we actually built a support for the back so it like, tilted and looks like it's flying up. So we're just going to show you those stands right now. Okay, so these are the stands we made. These go on the wings. These pins actually connect to the beams on the little wheel supports. And we'll just show you how they are put on. All right, and where I go. I'm just going to put these up, and let's get started. Alright, so this is how the airplane looks with all the stands on and everything. It looks like it's taking off. Alright, so these are the wing stands. So the stand in the middle is like where all the pressure is. We had to make it strong so like axles and beams wouldn't bend. We actually went through many tries to get this. I tried many uh, attempts that I thought would work, but they actually failed epically until I got this idea. And then all the stuff around it is what we added on for support and, like, strength. Um, it's, like, the third airplane I built. We actually had to break one of my airplanes to build it. Correction. It is actually the fourth airplane I built. I had to break one of them to use for pieces. You gotta break some to make some. So, I, out of, so, I've actually, <laughs> I can't I can't I can't I but, without further ado, I said further, it's a blanket. <laughs> so I don't know if you could see in here under 
Alright, thank you everyone so much for watching. Alright, thank you everyone so much for watching another Veli Bros, and we will see you in a another video. Bye.